Alright everyone, welcome back. And last time we, we just spent some time classifying angles. This time let's uh, let's do something with them and just accurately identify what they are. And just kind of put this in our mind. When we measure angles accurately, we use something called a standard protractor. And I have a picture of one just down below. And the standard protractor divides a straight angle, that straight angle from last lesson, into 180 congruent slices. And that, that big fancy word congruent means equal, okay? It means they're the same. Each slice is worth one degree, and we write one degree with that symbol that looks similar to maybe Celsius or Fahrenheit that you've seen before. The protractor shows angle measurements from zero degrees to 180 degrees. Now from now on, we will refer to a standard protractor as just simply a protractor. There is a different type of protractor that goes uh, 360 degrees, but the protractor that we're gonna deal with is just the standard protractor. It's just easier on me to say protractor. And in this picture, this unit measures 22 degrees. So how do I do this? Well, you may have used one before, but I take my protractor and here's my angle. And what I need to do is I need to line up um, the point, you can see like a little target there, that needs to be on top of the vertex. And then there's that bottom zero line, which needs to line up at the bottom of one of my angles. So that's about right there looks good. And so I have my vertex in the in the target there. I have my bottom of my angle line up along the zero. And now I look at the lines and I have two. I have something called 60 degrees and I have 120 degrees. Well, how do I tell the difference? I'm going to use the, the one that's lined up with zero. And that's the one that's on the inside track here because I want this bottom line on the zero degrees line. So as I look, I'm going to look on the inside track and I'm going to find 60. So this is my correct angle there. I've measured it 60 degrees. All right. So this time I got it going the other way. I'm going to take again my angle and I have two angles to measure here and I have, a, I have a point to make here but let's first measure angle A and again I'm going to get to that vertex in the target area I got it along the zero and remember this is my zero line so I'm going to keep measuring on the inside track and right here well there's that 60 and 20 again well these are not the same looking angles if you remember from the previous page so this one is 120 okay if my angle had been going this way that would be a 60 degree angle okay I'm just gonna erase that ugly those ugly lines here now let's say I needed to measure angle B now angle B if you remember from the last lesson is a reflex angle but reflex angles um, they operate a little bit differently and so I I can only go up to a straight line on this one and if I get in there on my target that goes beyond 180 degrees which is my straight angle so what I need to do is I get my 120 degree measurement and something we need to know is that a reflex angle is between 180 and 360 degrees so I'm gonna actually take my 360 degrees and I'm gonna subtract 120 when I do that maybe I'll zero four two I get that answer and that means that this 240 degrees and this 120 degrees if I was to add these together they should equal 360 degrees which is a full circle which you might know from things like skateboarding or snowboarding that a whole full turn is three a 360 degree turn so angle B is actually 240 degrees so let's talk about some standards here. We name angles according to their measures and degrees. And the angle, uh, sorry, we name angles according to their measures and degrees. And the measure of an acute angle is less than 90 degrees, okay? So anything less than 90 is an acute angle. And we, and we learned last time that's kind of a small looking angle. The measure of a right angle is 90 degrees. And we just said an acute is less than 90, so anything below 90 is 
below a right angle is an acute, but here is quite, and I'm sorry the smart board doesn't let me do this, but quite often is represented as a box. And when you see that box in the corner, we know it's, it's a perfect right angle. We don't need to measure it. The measure of an obtuse angle is between 90 and 180 degrees. So anywhere between um, the right angle and this way is, 100, is, is, a, is an obtuse angle. And then a straight angle is just simply 180 degrees. The measure of a reflex angle is between, between 180 and 360. Remember the, the 180 is that straight angle, it comes out here. So somewhere between these areas is a reflex angle. And another benchmark that you might want to keep an eye off on, sorry, the benchmark you want, the benchmark you might want to keep an eye on is an acute angle that is 45 degrees, and 45 degrees is exactly halfway between a right angle. Oops, that's a really not straight line. So anywhere that is halfway between is, is a 45 degree angle. That comes up a lot. So again, the three angles that we need to probably consider as benchmarks to estimate if we're ever given an angle and we don't have a protractor and we have to estimate, we should be considering 45 degrees, 90 and 180. Those are good benchmarks to consider. And that's really it. You're going to spend some time measuring, I take it. And I just want to make sure that you know that in life, math happens. Take care.